All right, major development in the city's plan to create a gun-free zone in the French Quarter. The state attorney general uh, questions the loophole they're using and plans to meet with city leaders as well as the NOPD next week. WDSU investigative reporter Cassie Sherm is live in the French Quarter. So Cassie, explain to us what does this mean? Well, Attorney General Liz Merle says this plan for a gun-free zone here in the French Quarter created by the city opens them up to lawsuits and could be unconstitutional, and that's why it's so important for them to have this conversation in the next week and a half or so. Now, earlier this week on Monday, we first told you on how the city plans to... 8th District Police Station in the French Quarter, a vocational technical school. That way they can get around the new statewide permless carry law that goes into place tomorrow. Now the city set up concealed carry classes for officers at the 8th District Station, which would then double as a school. That would make it a gun-free zone within a thousand feet radius of this building. That area includes the blocks bounded by Canal and Toulouse streets and large stretches of the busy Bourbon, Royal and Charters. Now Attorney General Liz Merle says the city did not reach out to her or her office regarding the legality of this plan. We are scheduling a meeting where we can talk about this further, um, but I think my initial response was pretty clear. You can't just declare a police station of a tech school to get around the gun laws. I all want New Orleans to be safer um, for everybody, but when it comes to the law, they just need to do it the right way. Now, New Orleans City Council President Helena Moreno says, quote, I look forward to visiting and working with Attorney General Merle to ensure that NOPD has every tool necessary to take illegal firearms off our streets, keep people safe, and reduce the number of people injured or killed by gun violence in New Orleans. Now, the statewide permless carry law goes into effect starting tomorrow. But when it comes to New Orleans, because of an ordinance, that won't take effect in here in New Orleans until August 1st, and we're going to continue to follow this very closely. Reporting here in the French Quarter, I'm Cassie Sherm, WDSU Investigates. And former New Orleans Mayor Mark Moriel is in town for Essence. He spoke to WDSU about the concealed carry law and what he believes it means for the city's future. It is very difficult to deal with gun violence if the Louisiana legislature continues to pass laws that allow anyone to carry a gun without a permit concealed on the streets. That's a formula for continued violence. I don't care what you do with policing. I don't care what you do with prosecutions. It makes it difficult to interrupt it uh, on the front end.